Behold my 300 video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. So I'm here with a Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures The Beholder. And this was asked of me to be painted by one of my friends for his D&D campaign. So I'm going to try and do my best on this miniature and get him painted and ready for the table. We're going to be actually doing the base first because I actually prepared it with some uh, light earth and then some, uh, I think it was Mordant earth from Citadel. And then we're doing a fire giant orange speed paint over to make it look like lava. And the next big part of this miniature is actually Flesh Terror's Red. We're going to be putting this on like the whole skin of this big eye. Now, I actually got asked to paint this guy and to follow another paint scheme than what's on the back of the box. So it was a little harder, but I think it came out, it's going to come out pretty good. I hope he really enjoys it, uh, and I'm hoping that he'll ask me to paint more in the future. A little bit of Rise of Rust now, just to hit the underneath of this miniature, just to make it look like there's a glowing effect from the lava. It's not too much. And a little bit of Astarath Red, which is a dry paint from Citadel, just to do the top part and some of the red. So I don't care if I'm hitting the tentacles. As you can see, I removed some of the tentacles as well. A Kellyan Green now for the eye. Uh, Volupus Pink for uh, the inside of the mouth and the tongue and the gums. Now, I've actually sped this miniature painting up a lot, like up to eight times faster, because I want to show you guys a lot of what I'm painting. So usually I go four times faster and I cut a lot still and that. This one I've gone eight times and I'm cutting a little less, but then the videos are also shorter. Anyway, some athermatic blue. Now we're going to be doing this on the lightning um, tentacle. And uh, now we're doing some blood angels red on all the tentacles. And uh, because it's a little bit orangier <laughs> if that could be a more orange than the uh, flesh tear is red and i want the tentacles to have a little bit different look to them than the rest of the miniature now again this thing is already pre-primed so i could have reprimed it in chaotic red or dragon red and then had like most of the work done but i really wanted to get that contrast paint on here to make it really uh have it do the highlighting for me pretty much all right some matte black now for the inside part of that eyeball simple Nash drag yellow now for that like I don't even know what this is I, I think it was a fireball or something but I just wanted to go a little different color uh, now we're using some pale flesh on the eyelid this is actually from the zombie side green horde it is not a unique paint you can use uh, mutant hue from their war paints range I just have this one corpse pale now we're gonna be doing all of his teeth we're gonna be doing all the eyeballs including the big eyeball and every single eyeball on all the tentacles. Now I know I'm like rushing through explaining all the paints, but I mean, it's just a simple paint job. Plus it's my 300 video upload. This is crazy. I don't think I've done 300 videos of miniatures in that. I mean, this is counting some of my original videos of video game stuff and that, but whatever, still 300 videos. That's a lot of work. And I would like to do a big announcement right now. If I hit 1000 subscribers by the end of the year, I'm gonna have some sort of giveaway. I'm gonna have to give away something for this special occasion. So let's go. We're at 620 some subscribers. Let's hit that 1000 by the end of the year. Tan flesh now. This is a neat color. I love this color. It has like a brown hint to it. We're gonna be doing this on all these bony spikes that are coming out of this miniature. Um, they may not even be spikes. They might just be the scales. Maybe I should have kept them red, but I wanted to have a little contrast and a little difference, right? And not make it all look the same and all be red. Like in the artwork on the back of the box, I mean, the whole thing is brown and a bit of color in the eyes and even the eyeballs are pretty much the same color. It's kind of boring. So anyways, we're going to fix that all up. Changeling pink is a dry brush on the top part of the tentacles just to give it like a light source. Hexos pale sun now on that weird thing coming out of that tentacle. Crusader skin now on all the eyeballs. Yes, Crusader skin. And you know what? It works perfectly on this. This is exactly what I wanted as a tone. Raikland flesh shade. That's going to be going on the teeth, the gums, uh, and all of those protruding bone pieces or whatever you want to call those things. I don't even know what they're called, but let's call them bone pieces because I want to call them something different. Again, if you're liking this video, folks, don't forget to hit that like button. And again, 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year will have a giveaway. All right, there you go, folks. The Beholder from D&D, &D, Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you all in the next one.